is. There it is, about five seconds, but five seconds of history uh, in this country. The first time we have ever seen a president, former or current, uh, criminally charged. We know he's already been booked. He is a criminal defendant entering a courtroom in Lower Manhattan. They then went and charged my boy with 34 felony counts of falsifying business documents in the first degree. That America is past the point of no return, man. Our justice system is so corrupt. Alvin Bragg should be disbarred. This is nothing but a joke. And then it's so bad that when the reporters, they ask him, what was the crime? What was the crime? Alvin Bragg can't even explain or tell you, and he eludes the question. And they would not conceal another crime, but the indictment does not specifically say what those crimes were. We are assuming, perhaps, that they might be election-related. I'm wondering if you can specify what laws were also relevant. All right. So let me, let me say as an initial matter that the indictment doesn't specify that because the law does not so require. Uh, in my remarks, I mentioned a couple of laws, which I will highlight uh, again now. Uh, the, the, the first is New York State election law which makes it a crime uh, to conspire to promote a candidacy by unlawful means. Uh, I further indicated a, a number of unlawful means, including ad more additional false statements, including statements that were planned to be made to tax authorities. Uh, I also noted the federal election law cap on contraband contribution uh, limits. But why weren't there those crimes charged? Why weren't they charged with those crimes? Well, we, we, I'm not going to go into our deliberate process on what was brought. The charges that were brought were the ones that were brought. The evidence in the law uh, is, is the basis for those decisions. Now, I have been in trouble before. I have been indicted. Everybody that knows my story knows that. 34 felonies, you only list one aspect of the crime and you don't want to list the second crime? That don't make no sense. Even I can't make sense of that. And I'm not the smartest person in the room. I mean, it's so bad that even liberal media has gone on record to say that it was a disappointment. And we cannot guarantee or expect any judge to, to be the one to have some courage to say, oh, this is BS, there's nothing withstanding, we're throwing this out. So you can count that out. So I wanna show you this next video of literally CNN, a collaboration of CNN saying that, hey, there ain't nothing here, this is a disappointment. Uh, you, you're bringing a knife to a gunfight. Here's where we're gonna run into legal problems because the indictment does not say what that second crime is, which is completely inexplicable to me. The entire point of an indictment is to tell the defendant, here's what you're charged with. He said, federal campaign election law, but this is New York state. So he said, state election law, but this is a campaign for president, which is a federal office. And there's literally one word about this in the statement of fact, said something about tax, but they didn't take a deduction of real questions about this. It's disappointment. It's hard to imagine convincing a jury that, that they should get there. One source said to me, uh, this is Donald Trump. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. I had hoped that there would be more uh, in the indictment. This is just another example of abuse of power coming from the Democratic Party to try to derail their political opponent. This is just yet another example of the corruption of our justice system that clearly shows a favor and discrimination towards one political faction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad day in American history. Time stamp this because we will never forget this. America is at the point of no return. This is a complete joke. Alvin Bragg should be disbarred, man. This is a complete shame. Check out this time stamp. April 19th is the deadline for the prosecutors to give the defense team all the evidence. That's just a couple of weeks from now. I'll let you guys develop your opinion on what you think is going on here. August 8th is the deadline for Trump's defense motions. September 19th, you see the time going? September 19th is the deadline for the defense to respond to those motions. Um, the deadline for the judge to rule on those motions with Trump actually being appearance in the court is December 4th. The prosecution wants um, January uh, a January 24th trial date, and the defense team wants more spring in 2024. Now, what do you think? What does your mind and your gut tell you is going on right now, knowing that we have a 2024 election coming up?
And that's not even the tip of the iceberg. Let's don't forget all the other stuff that's going on. Uh, the probe with the, Justin De uh, the Justice Department, with the classified documents. You know, the whole Mar-a-Lago raid. Yeah, you know that hoax. Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, let's don't forget about all the kangaroo January 6th committee hearings um, that will be done, the, the reviews that will be done by the Justice Department. Um, Fulton County in Georgia, they're still holding, holding on. They haven't made a decision whether they want to try to prosecute yet. Um, so let's don't forget um, them wanting to file those charges. And lastly, this Eugene Carroll person that claims that Trump it's 2024. He ran. How many? He ran. He became president already. Now he's trying to run again. And somebody just comes out the woodwork claiming that he raped him. I, I mean, man, how much can this man go through? Remember, folks, they're not trying to get to Trump. They're trying to get to us. Trump is just in their way. This is a clear abuse of our Justice Department. This is a clear abuse to the election process. This democracy that they keep talking about, even though we're a constitutional republic. It's a clear abuse. And, and to be honest with you, you know, I know this is the part that I don't like about the Republican Party, the, the, the side that we're on. We're supposed to be the parents and take the high road and, and not fall into the, the, the poor behaviors of the left, the, these bad shit leftists, right? So we have to be the parents. We, we have, we're, the, we're the party of law and order. So I I, lo I would love to buy into the mind fr the the mind frame of man. Well, once we get in power, why don't we just do the same thing that they're doing and abuse and go after everybody and start locking everybody up? We can't do that because that's lawfare. That's lawfare, and and we're about law and order, and we don't want to even go down that road of using our justice department to go back and forth. There's no return to that. So we have to do everything the right way. And, and it's sad because we allow them to continue to turn our country into a, not only a joke to the rest of the world and show that we have poor leadership and, and completely undermine the American people as a whole, but we, we not only do that, we're no different um, by them corrupting our justice department, our justice system, um, going after political um, factions because of th that's their opponent so that they can try to stay in the power. We're no different than Venezuela, Russia, or any of these other communist dictator countries. And that's what's sad about this whole thing, man. We have to be the bigger person. You know what? I'm a hardcore Trump fan. Hardcore Trump fan. I've been out there to the rallies. I I'm a proud J6er. I've been out there on the streets, on the ground with you guys. I've taken pictures with you guys. I've talked. I've been on the front line. I've been doing this from day one, man. I put everything that I have on the line when it comes to this. But this right here is downright just sickening, man. And, and I'm exhausted with it. And not only am I a hardcore Trump fan, for the first time, I feel that he might not be able to get elected. And I know you guys ain't going to like me saying that. I know you're not going to like me saying, like, no, nah, he's going to overcome this and beat this. 100%. But when I look at a timeline like this, when I look and see how they're spreading things out so that they can derail this man from being able to do the things, uh, uh, the necessary things that he needs to do to run campaigns for presidency, I know that this is just a derailment to set him back. This is why we didn't have the red wave. This is the same thing that they did. They're using things to, just d d to d diminish this man. And the man overcomes it over and over and over. This is no different than the Russian collusion hoax. This is just the indictment hoax. This is all this is. No different than all the other hoax. It seems that once we thought that, oh, they ain't got nothing else. They're desperate. This was their last straw, their last ditch effort to try to derail this man, Trump, from being able to run again for 2024 when they did the Mar-a-Lago raid. Just when you thought that they were over, they stick their hand into their bag of tricks with even more egregious stuff, like this Alvin Bragg stuff, like the lady coming out of the woodwork saying that all of a sudden she was raped in some Bloomingdale, uh, whatever. They just keep sticking their hand into the bag and be coming out with more egregious stuff, man. How much can the man take? Put in the comments what your thoughts are on this subject. Um, I think and I know he's going to probably beat these charges. Some are saying that he probably won't but I think that he will. Put it in the comments what your thoughts are on the subject. Let me know how you feel 
um because i like to read them if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button the like button and leave a comment because i do read them it's your boy craig long 45 you can't make this shit up i'm out peace yeah wait <laughs> Oh, no, no, don't get into the head. You're old. 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 You